Lesson 2.2, Greater Than. In this lesson, we compare sets in which one set is greater. We use counting and matching to compare numbers. Greater means more. Greater than means more than. And the set with more is greater than the other set. We can draw lines to match the counters and make pairs. We can draw lines to make this a pair, to make this a pair, and this one, and this one. And we can see this set has one left over. So does every counter have a match? No, this one doesn't have a match. When comparing two numbers, the greater number comes later in the counting order. This one goes up to four, this one goes up to five. This is the greater number of counters. Here we have a set of counters and here we have a set of counters. We can match the counters. We match these together and make a pair. We match these, we match these. And we see the row with more counters. This one's got more. The set that has a counter with no match is greater. This one has no match, so this is the greater set of counters. The set that has counters left over is greater. We have one, two, three, four. We can write the number four. This one has one, two, three. We can write the number three. Four is greater than three. Four is one greater than three. That means it has one more than three. Here we need to count the number in each set. We have a set of rabbits and a set of carrots. We need to write the number and compare them. Then we'll circle the greater number. We count the rabbits. One, two, three. We write three. We count the carrots. One, two. We write the number two. Now we can compare three and two. Three is one more than two. The greater number is three. There's a greater number of rabbits than there are carrots. If it's hard to see, we can try matching them. This rabbit would get this carrot, this rabbit would get this carrot, but this rabbit wouldn't get one. So there's more rabbits, a greater number of rabbits than there are carrots. Three is greater than two. Here we have a set of acorns. They fall from an oak tree. Here we have a set of squirrels. We can count the acorns, one, two. We write the number two. There's only one squirrel. Two is greater than one if we matched each acorn to a squirrel, there'd be an acorn left over. There's more acorns. There's a greater number of acorns than there are squirrels. Two is greater than one. It's greater than one by one more. Here we have a set of tennis balls and here we have a set of dogs. We can count the tennis balls one, two, three, four, five. We can write the number five. We can count the dogs. One, two, three, four dogs. We can write the number four. We need to compare 
this set of tennis balls to this set of dogs. We need to circle the greater number. Which one do you think is greater? Five or four? We can line them up and match them. We can match these and these and these and these. And look, we have a tennis ball left over. That means five is greater than four. Five is greater than four by one. It's one greater than four. So we can use lines to match the counters or the objects to see which set has more. Or we can count the number of objects in each set and compare the numbers. The greater number comes later in counting order. Our next lesson, 2.3, we're going to talk about less than. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great day. And I hope you join me for next time. Bye.